There shall be cannons. In the autumn of 1848, the war situation in Transylvania seemed hopeless due to a lack of artillery. At the popular assembly in Haromsek in November, the former gunner Aron Gabor pledged that there shall be cannons. The manufacturing technology of the time was complicated and expensive, and so a cannon casting method tailored to local conditions was developed together with the leadership. First, the cannon-shaped pattern was turned from wood. Then, it was sawn in two and the trunnions and the lugs were added. A mould made from clayey sand was prepared from one half of the pattern. Then, the mould for the other side was made by turning everything over. The moulds were dried over coals after the wooden patterns had been removed. After this, a hole was drilled for the core. First, the chaplet and the core were put between them, then the completed mould was joined together. The mould was buried in the casting pit and filled with molten liquid bronze. The cooled cast was dug out and loosened from its clay sheath. The excess parts from the casting were cut off, the barrel was cleaned and the bore smoothed. Then the gun was equipped with additional components. Mosesh Turotsi's brass foundry became a cannon factory and was later extended with a smithy, carpenters, saddlers and other workshops. At least 63 fully equipped guns were made here, which made the Haron Serk conflict possible against superior numbers. <laughs> 